This is entitled Mirrors or Windows of Truth. This is a mirror. We all know what mirrors are. We've seen many different shapes and sizes for our entire lives. After all, nowadays, mirrors are in or on most of the baby's toys. But do we really know how mirrors work? According to this report from azoptics.com entitled, How the Mirrors Work, maybe a little oversimplified, but light reflects off of everything for us to see anything. A mirror must be a smooth surface. The smoother the surface of the mirror, the better the clarity of the reflection. Now there are three main types of mirrors. First, we have the concave mirror. This mirror is a type of spherical mirror where the reflective surface protrudes inwards. This causes the reflected image to be upright and enlarged in size, but only as long as it's centered on the curve. If you move it to either side, the image becomes inverted and reduced in size, as you see in these pictures. Second, we have the convex mirror. This mirror is a type of spherical mirror where the reflective surface protrudes outwards this causes the reflected image to always, always, always appear upright and reduced in size, as you can see in the picture. Third, we have the plane mirror, spelled P-L-A-N-E. This is the type of mirror that most of your household and bathroom mirrors are. It's a flat mirror, hence the name plane, by definition, is flat and level. The reflected image in a plane mirror is always the same size as the object and upright, totally identical, as you see in these photographs. Simple search, water, mirror, photograph. So, in conclusion, there is absolute photographic evidence not just images and cartoons and CGI like NASA gives us about space, but real photographic evidence that all of the reflections on large bodies of water at rest show absolutely no derivations, no deviations, and most of all, no convexity in their reflections. This demands that the mirrored surfaces not only be smooth and reflective, but also, the surfaces must be flat and level. Now, that would not be possible if this realm were actually a ball with a radius of less than 4,000 miles at the equator. Possibly if it were hundreds of times larger than that, but nah. So how many times have we seen this kind of photographic evidence that due to the indoctrination about a ball Earth and planet since infancy, plus the cognitive dissonance to ignore our own senses and only believe everything that quote authority figures tell us. Schools are now teaching more about what to think while stripping us of how to think and question things that just don't make sense or feel wrong to us. Mirrors on large bodies of water at rest prove this realm we call Earth cannot be a ball. Hopefully everything can now be researched truthfully. If the true Earth were a ball with, quote, gravity holding the water onto the ball, any resting body of water, but a mirrored surface would have some degree of convexity which would be evident in all the reflections. Neil deGrasse Tyson, Bill Nye, you guys can dry up into obscurity with all your lies about space. That's globe drop. Can you say intelligent design demanding a creator? NASA, you got some splaining to do and some huge refunds that need to come for you. This is also put another debate about water to bed, but I'll let you figure that one out for yourself. Love and blessings to all. The creator of all has made it painfully obvious the whole time right in front of our eyes. Indoctrination from birth plus cognitive dissonance have forced most people to ignore their very own senses. Oh, 
one last thing. Buzz, if you really love America, tell the truth before you die, buddy. Please. Please. By the way, I believe that the Creator shared this whole description with my spirit, who shared it with me. I could never have developed this explanation of my own volition. All the glory to our great God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Be blessed.